Hello everyone, it's Becky here and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another tag video. I'm always so excited when doing tag videos and today's video is actually quite special because it's going to be music related tag, although it's still gonna talk about books. And this tag was originally created by Jennifer from Jennifer Loves Books and I was very kindly tagged by Gemma from Gem of Books and I highly recommend to check both channels out because they are amazing and doing great videos about books, so give it a go, please. This tag is called Stock, Aitken and Waterman tag, which is a trio of music producers that were very popular in 80s and 90s and they worked with um, one of the greatest musicians ever, for example Paul McCartney, Kylie Minogue or even Cliff Richard, so I'm very excited to explore these questions and the tag. So let's begin. The first one says, you'll never stop me from loving you by Sonia. So the author whose books you will automatically read, even though some of their books haven't lived up to your expectations. Here I'm definitely gonna say Daphne du Maury or Alexandra Dima, although there won't be any new books coming from them, unfortunately. But I still not read all of their books, so as soon as I will put my hands on some of their books, I'm gonna I'm gonna jump for them and I'm gonna read. You spin me round by dead or alive. This song is my life. I love it so much. <laughs> A book with so many twists and turns that you get dizzy. Oof, um, I'm not quite sure how to answer this because I do not read thrillers or I do not read very much of detective stories even though I would love to read something from Agatha Christie finally because Alice from Alice and the Giant Bookshelf made also her original tag celebrating Agatha Christie for her birthday and she's still talking about books from Poirot. Definitely recommend you to check her channel out, she's amazing. But since I've been watching her channel I was really thinking that I need to start reading Agatha Christie so once I do I will tell you and I will recommend some book from her books to this prompt. Okay, Too Many Broken Hearts by Jason Donovan, a book that broke your heart. Uh, Little Paris Bookshop by Nina George. This is a book which is really about broken heart and it's quite difficult read I would say. Um, not recommend you to read it if you're going through something like that because I was reading it and I must say that the descriptions of those feelings and the pain and everything heartbroken related um, those are very vivid descriptions and I literally had to take breaks as I was listening to this book because I mean compliments to the author for portraying descriptions and the whole writing so well but um, yeah it's quite a challenging book sometimes especially depending in what time period of your life are you in because I did not read it in the greatest period of my life so but definitely it's a wonderful book and I highly recommend you to give it a go. Okay, Love in the First Degree by Banana Rama, your favorite fictional couple. Mm, I'm not gonna say, I'm not gonna say because if I would say the couple I would actually spoil the story for you because you would know that those two ended up together so I'm gonna keep this a secret, sorry. <laughs> I Should Be So Lucky by Kylie Minogue, a book by an Irish author. So here I'm gonna recommend the author called Colm Toybin and I'm so sure I pronounced it incorrectly so I apologize very much. But there is this wonderful book called Brooklyn and also the film which was made with Sir Ronan. Absolutely wonderful story. It's about the girl who comes from this little village in Ireland and she gets the chance to go to America to study and also later on she finds a job there and she also finds love but she left her mother and sister behind in Ireland and after some time she gets a chance to go back to Ireland and she experiences for a short period of time a life she could have lived if she stayed there and suddenly she is able to have a job there and she also meets someone new and she lives sort of in between these two places and she really struggles to um, choose what is it she really wants, whether it's her whole life she now has in America or if it is her life she could have if she came back to Ireland for good. And um, this story is very, well not important to me, but I can relate very much because I always have the similar feelings when it comes to being in Slovakia and Scotland because if I could have one wish for golden fish, uh, it would be it would be to stay at two places at once, uh, Slovakia and Scotland. Wonderful book, highly recommend you to read. Alright, so another question. Say I am your number one by Princess, your favorite prize winning book. And here, unfortunately, I don't have an answer because I do not follow um, book prizes very much. Although the part of me who writes is obviously interested in writing competitions and all these sort of things, but the part of me as a reader, I just read the book when I feel like it's something I could like or if someone recommended it to me and I just don't 
focus only on books which have some prize or something is really not important for me I, I can enjoy the book although it does not win prizes or anything like that okay the harder I try by brother beyond an author you just can't get into well I mentioned in my previous video that I DNF David Copperfield by Charles Dickens and although I did not read any other book from Charles Dickens and this was my first attempt I just did not finish it I don't know why it was but yeah for now I'm gonna say Charles Dickens but I hope it will change because I definitely do want to try read more books from him and see how it goes okay happening all over again by Lonnie Gordon your favorite series or sequel mm, okay this is gonna be weird but <laughs> I'm gonna say Twilight because I as I mentioned a couple times before I do not read series uh, I just cannot deal with cliffhangers at the end of every book so therefore I prefer standalone books or maybe like duologies but no nothing more but uh, Twilight is something which I read many times when I was in primary school I absolutely hated the films I'm sorry to say but I, I just cannot I cannot deal with the movies but when I read the Twilight stories when I was in primary school I loved them but I really wonder what I would think of those books if I read them now after so many years yeah I wonder if <laughs> if I would feel differently but I'm gonna say Twilight for this one okay Toy Boy by Sinita your favorite poet or poem uh, I don't read very much of a poem uh, I would love to, I would love to explore poetry a little bit more, so actually if you have some recommendations for someone who never read poetry properly, I would love to hear ideas from you. Please let me know in the comments, but uh, so far I must say I do quite enjoy Shakespeare's sonnets, I do like them very much, but I do not know um, many, for example, current authors in poetry or even from past i don't know ma many of them i tried to read robert burns poems once but um yeah i'm still not that proficient when it comes to understanding uh, old scottish language <laughs> together forever by rick astley the book that has been on your tbr the longest <laughs> i just like the <laughs> this is so stupid but i, I just like the um connection between rick astley and having something the longest on your tbr like Rick Estri will never disappear, <laughs> but I love his songs so much. So, um, okay, general, I would say classics. I don't think I have a concrete book, but I always wanted to read something from Virginia Woolf, so definitely some of her books are on my TBR very long time. Right, and bonus track, especially for you by Kylie and Jason. Recommend me a book you think I will love. Well, first of all, I thought that this was meant only for the author of the tag itself, but then Gemma, she asked you or us who were watching the video recommend books to her, so that's what I'm gonna do. And if you have some book which you think I would love or if there is any of your favorite book, please let me know in the comments and I would love to give it a go, I would love to try. So those were all the prompts, all the questions and I would love to tag two people here and I would love to tag Sandy from Mrs. Reads A Lot and also Anne from Anne with Books. Um, lovely, lovely ladies with lovely booktube channels talking about books, I highly recommend you go check them out and yeah, that's me from now, I hope you enjoyed this video, thank you very much for joining me and I will see you with another video very soon. Bye, take care! And here I'm gonna go for the author called Tom. Oh, sorry. And here I'm gonna go for author called Colm Toynbin. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Tom called Colm Toynbin. Mm, Colm Toynbin.